Okay, if you are not interested, today we are going to be looking at whatever it is we want to look at. Anyways, you know in the attempt to speak good English, majority of us we tend to speak phonetically and we want to attain the right pronunciation and in the bit of doing that, oftentimes we used to big baggy. If you don't big baggy, sometimes we rumor. The same thing is also applicable to some people who speak Arabic and this lead us to what I call Jennifer's Larubawa. Why are you laughing? You know when you see a brother when he's trying to say some Arabic and he starts saying things like Yani Yani uh Efurasi. There was a time when he used to say certain words and I would be like, ah, wow, mashallah, this guy, ah, this guy is Saudi Arabic. You know, he has a particular line. He will say something like, Ada Eri Mubin. I've not for once ever doubted that Eri was not part of Arabic. I thought he's like a normal, like he's saying it's like saying the right Arabic. Until... I discovered that what he was saying is Eini Erito Daju Hada Erimubin. And the day I knew that Geek Maros was actually using Jennifer's Darbara to boo me or this one, while he was still with the service of my current employer, go and find out who my current employer is. He was having a conversation with an international student who happens to be from Egypt. And you know, Arabic is one of the major languages that they used to communicate in Egypt. While the guy came to me and he started saying, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, Akifa, I said, uh, 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 please, hold it, just hold it there. And I directed him to Geek Maros, hoping that uh, at least he understand Arabic to some extent. <laughs> you know, when the guy started, I like go black new in cockles. <laughs> nothing, nothing was there, nothing at all. He was just like, eh? I don't understand what you are saying, though. You know, that was it. Then like, ah. So, you have to be bring me more all this way. You just bring me more with any fast larvae. Well, that's by the way. You see, we now have another category of people in the bead of trying to um, emphasize on Arabic phonetics, what we'll call Tejweed, especially when it comes to reading the Quran. If I give a perfect example, someone once said in one of my videos that, uh, why am I calling Ramadan as Ramadan? and it's spelled it as what you see on the screen Ramavon. yes you know most of the subtitles i use for my video are actually being generated by ai and um the ones that are not correct i often change it manually so i observe that whenever i say ramadan is spelling something else you probably just look for two english words and magic together to form rama to sound like ramadan but whenever i say Ramavon is spelling what we used to call Ramadan. So it means, yes, of course, those pronunciations are right, but then the spelling might be different. Now, this brings us to those who spell in the bead of trying to sound phonetic, even in their spelling. For crying out loud, it is Nika. What is Nika? I lost in Nika, sister, sister Bilkis. Nika, Nika, Bini. We now have another category of people. Walloi, or they say something like Allah, Subhanallah, and of course, the funniest one of all, Romodun, Kilonje Romodun, Kilonje Romodun. We understand again, as I said, that you want to spell, you want to pronounce those things with the correct pronunciation, but that same ruling is not always applicable to the spelling. And you are only going to create nothing but confusion for people. Imagine, we are all accustomed with Romovon. You are not writing Romodun. So let me know some of those other Larbawa Jennifer that you have encountered in the comment section. Okay, before then, I think one of the funniest one I've this one is never this one. I think this one is a perfect Jennifer's Larbara. And this is coming from my elder sister and the person of Ghaniyat. You never accept that you call her Ghaniyat because yeah, Ghaniya loves for me. But phonetically, you are meant to call it Ghaniyat. But she won't agree anyway. You know, we are always having this discourse centered around 
having a muffner, not having a muffner. But the way she pronounces her own muffner is something that is out of the box. And this is how she does it. Larry, Kosino Shimo. It is, it is must know, must know, not not. It will not see more. It will not see more. It will not see more. It not see more. <laughs> but any suru but okay that's by the way but what is so no make boy ni make boy me agree there are two different things i heard you i'm not agreeing with you but make boy ni ni if i'm destined to have more than one wife even myself i can't stop it it is going to happen you know Who no Wait. Any suru? Any suru? Any suru? move to Oh, let me move it. I'm not having move it. I'm not <laughs> there you have it from Nosima, which is actually pronounced as Mosna, and Mufit when she was actually trying to say Mufti. Well, the call to action for this video is simple as Muslims, we should endeavor that we are able to communicate even a simple Arabic. You know, it aids our understanding of the Quran and it will save us from spiritual marabouts whenever they want to deceive us with some Arabic. We think they are saying something from the Quran or mentioning a lot name but in the real sense they're actually seeing something there so if you have the basic ability to communicate in arabic it is actually going to go a long way so for this reason we have series of academies that you can enroll into either it be physical or online see all the services they have as regard polishing your arabic speaking i pray allah make it easy for us i pray allah grant us the best in the life of this world and in the year after see you i see you again in the next video assalamualaikum